Hey guys, what's up? Rajesh from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, you know what? You guys are absolutely crazy. Because few days back, I uploaded this photo on my Instagram and my YouTube community tab. And I was asking that you guys really want this tutorial or not. And you guys are like crazy. So many comments, requests that please make this video. So yes, guys, in this video, I'll talk about this amazing render process inside of 3ds Max by using Phoenix FD and V-Ray render process. So without wasting any time, Let's get started. So guys, right now we're in 3ds Max 2021, the most interesting version I've ever seen. So to create this kind of simulation, you need Phoenix FD plugins should be installed and obviously V-Ray to be installed as well. I'm using both the latest version of this software. In fact, you can call it plugin as well. So in this standard primitive panel, you can find so many standard primitives. I'm selecting any of this from random. So I'm selecting like a sphere. So just take this and drop it something like that. Now, when you successfully install that Phoenix FD plugin, you can find this panel on this left side and there are so many options are already pre-made and this option are exactly made for them those who don't have any time for R&D and those who don't have any time to create a massive simulations and all so this is it for them in this panel you can find display pause stop delete cache and all and under that you can find so many default preset which is already pre-made and I'm selecting this Phoenix FD setup for a gasoline blast so just select this object without selecting this object it will never work and just click this option and automatically a box will be popped up here which is a phoenix fd default box now select this box and go to this modifier list and you can find these many options here which is uh, already there and now you have to click this grid option inside of the grid option you can find this cell size option which is the most important thing in this tutorial now you can see the cell size ratio is 0 0.393 which is pretty low in fact the less number of the cell size is higher the simulation it means like whenever you decrease the cell size the resolution of the simulation will be better now when i did i did it 0.1 and it was pretty high guys and in fact in my new system also the render process was taking for the one frame at least 10 to 12 minutes yes guys this is the thing of phoenix fd it's pretty high but pretty amazing now for the tutorial purpose i am making it to 0.5 which is a good number. So when you're done with this grid setup, just turn this off and under this preview panel, you can find these many options where you can find like temperature, smoke, fuel is by default turned on. If you want your velocity, you just click this velocity on so that you can see the velocity as well. Now go to this output panel where you can find the simulation cache save file. So always save your cache in a different folder so that it will not destroy whenever you re cache or re-simulate this so just click here and you can select this browse panel and you can save it whatever you want to save now you can see temperature smoke and fuel should by default turn on for this but if you want to speed velocity you just click and it will turn on now everything is done for this and now what you have to do select this ball right click go to the object properties and just turn off this renderable mode and click this display as box so it means the ball will not be renderable but it will work after that you have to select this box and go to the first frame and you have to just press this play button. Now what happened Phoenix FD is right now started the simulation and you can see the simulation is looks really super realistic. While doing the simulation you can exactly rotate your camera zoom in zoom out but 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 make sure you should have a good setup of PC otherwise you just leave it something like that no need to rotate zoom in zoom out and all so guys it will take some time to complete 100 frame of simulation so whenever it will complete i'll get back to you okay so the simulation is completely done and i have done only 64 frames because this is enough for this tutorial so now this is all about the rendering process inside of v-ray because you need a special render setup to render this otherwise this will nothing now first of all you have to go to this option and you have to select from this panel to V-Ray and we are taking this V-Ray plane and just click anywhere of this scene so it means this plane is right now in this infinity space. Now go to Alt W and we have to make this V-Ray plane to be this ground as well something like that so right now this plane is in ground now you have to do our basic lighting setup but in this case i will be using only one light yes so just go to this light one and from here i'm taking like v-ray and then just v-ray light now all w go to this option and just make a big light on this top of that and after that you have to move this to top something like that and you can see the light effect are already visible here now you have to make sure where you want to place your lights and all i would just want to rotate it a little bit of this direction 
and I want this light should be go to this one. So it means the shadows will be generated on this area and my camera will be something like that. Okay, so now the light intensity is very, very high. So I'm making it to let's take around 10, 10 is good enough. And after that, select your camera positions. So I'm selecting it. Okay, it's already going in. So I'm selecting it something like that. Okay, the camera position is completely done. Now you have to go to the settings panel and where you have to do some basic settings, which is just normal settings. So what you have to do from render panel, we are taking from V-Ray Next to V-Ray GPU. Now guys, for those who don't have any proper GPU setup or GPU support, you can use V-Ray Next as well. This is not a big deal. I am using GPU to make the render to faster way. So I'm selecting the V-Ray GPU Next update from 3.2 and automatically it will be done and then go to the video panel and over there you can find these many options from sampler you just from progressive to bucket and go to this light cache over there you can see this the subdivision is like 1000 so make it to like 200 is good enough because this will take a lot of time after that go to this preferred panel and you can find these many options no need to change anything but make sure you have to check out this video gpu render device select I have selected my CPU and GPU both together. So it means my CPU and my GPU will be rendered together to make this render faster. But still, it will take 10 to 15 minutes. Now, after that, when you're done with this, all the render settings, you just have to do something inside of light setup. So just go to this light setup and go to this option and turn on this invisible option. So it means the light effect will be there, but the light will not visible. So when you're happy with this, just click this render option. So now guys, you can see the render is started and it's pretty high render because I decreased the cell size to 0.5. So that's why the render is happening very fast. So when the render is completely done, the animation will completely done. It will exactly look like this. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this short, simple and quick tutorial from Phoenix FD, 3ds Max and V-Day as well. And if you really love this video, then don't forget to like, comment and share and also subscribe VFX World. And guys, if you still not follow us on our various social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter, all links are in the description box below. And very soon guys, I'll be crossing 20k subscribers on YouTube. So I'll make another Q&A session video as I promised when I cross 10k on YouTube. So guys, thank you so very much in advance and I will see you in my next video. Till then, have Stay healthy, keep rocking, keep watching VFX World.